On June 30, 2017, two veterans living with arm amputations became the first recipients of a new generation of prosthetic limb that promises them unprecedented near-natural arm and hand motion. The modular, battery-powered arms developed for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, by DECA Research and Development Corporation, represent the most significant advance in upper extremity prosthetics in more than a century. The prosthetic Luke arm system enables dexterous arm and hand movement through a simple, intuitive control system. The system allows users to control multiple joints simultaneously and provides a variety of grips and grip forces by means of wireless signals generated by sensors worn on the feet or via other easy-to-use controllers. Years of testing and optimization in collaboration with the Department of Veterans Affairs led to clearance by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the establishment of a commercial-scale manufacturer, Mobius Bionics of Manchester, New Hampshire. Throughout the arms development, DARPA received contracting support from the Army Research Office. The program also received funding assistance from the U.S. Army Medical Research and Materiel Command. More than 100 people living with amputation were involved in initial studies, which led to a product whose natural size, weight, and shape provides unparalleled comfort and ease of use. There are far too many veterans who have paid a heavy price uh, for protecting our freedom. And we owe it to these people to give them the best possible technology and clinical care. We are there for you and we'll always be there for you. As you know, we're entering the July 4th weekend, which is Independence Weekend, and this is really Independence Day for our veterans. And we have with us today two American heroes, Fred Downs and Artie McCauley. Both lost their arms in service, and uh, today to be able to introduce this new technology to give them independence is really what the VA is about. Oh, I'm loving it. I really am. It's a, it's a, a very unique device for uh, such a high amputation as myself. I'm getting to do a lot of other things that um, I wanted to do uh, earlier, but I never thought I could. And uh, this has given me the opportunity to uh, enrich my life. It's an evolving process. It's exciting to be a part of that because that evolving process is going to improve the upper extremity uh, robotic technology and the controls that go to th as you're thinking to make it do what you want to do. So you know it's, it's one thing to kind of see a prosthetic arm being developed in the lab. It's a whole other thing to actually see that prosthetic arm in the VA and on veterans. And to me that is the life-changing moment not only for them but also a dream for us in our agency that we actually delivered upon that promise.